Hi, my name is Maria. Welcome to She Loves Biscotti and Pizza. How are you, Carlo? Very good. Are you ready to make I'm ready to do everything. Let's pizza. go. <laughs> so today, uh, Carlo was thinking of sharing a margarita pizza recipe. Is Very that? simple. Very simple. So we're not in Naples. No. But we can still make a margarita pizza. <laughs> we don't have a wooden oven. Yes. We have a gas oven. Yes. So the ingredients are fresh basil. We have mozzarella di buffalo, and we have tomato tomato uh, sauce, which is in the Gilles biscotti. And uh, we have uh, butter for the pan. A little bit of olive oil. If you want oregano over it, you can put it at the end. But there is already in the uh, the already inside sauce. the pizza sauce. So this is a very simple... Very simple. Yeah, make sure you have all the ingredients because sometimes you know you're ready and then you forgot to cut the cheese or you forgot to cut, you know, get the sauce that's not ready or the basil. So then you're, you're like getting nervous and it doesn't come out. But you know, once you have your ingredients ready like this, the dough is there, the pan is there, everything is there, it takes two seconds to uh, set it up. I think also what you've shown us is that if you're sauteing vegetables or grilling vegetables or whatever, that they have to come to room temperature. Yes. They have to come to room temperature or else the dough is going to be like soggy and uh, it looks like it's not going to be cooked. So, so uh, never put hot vegetables no, no. on the pizza you know, What you could do is uh, maybe if you want to pre-cook your pizza dough first and then as soon as it's, uh, you have a little bit of a pre-cook, then you could take it out and put your vegetable hot, put the cheese and put it back in the oven, which already your dough is almost cooked. So, so you still have that, uh, that so option. It doesn't, yeah, it yeah, doesn't get wet. It doesn't get wet. You don't want a pizza soggy, that's why. So we'll just get the, uh, this uh, beautiful... Uh... So the pizza dough, this was one, this is one full recipe yeah. and we're only making like a small pan. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'm going to cut it in half and just take half of it. Put it here. And I'm just going to cut half of it out. So we refold the pizza in a ball. If you want, you can just put a little bit of the oil on top, all right, or all around it, like it doesn't, it won't dry. The pizza won't, you know, won't dry up. You know, it won't make a crust. So now we'll put some butter in the pan. Oh, I like that noise. Sure, noise of somebody making pizza. Make sure you, you get all the edge, just in case the dough gets there. And then if you have problems sticking it out at the beginning, then you're going to have problems everywhere. So you might as well put you know, butter in the side. Then you take your dough, you put it in the middle, you wet your fingers with oil, and you stretch. And again, if the dough doesn't move, as you're, you're pushing it to the side, just let it rest a couple of minutes and yeah. it comes around. So, so just let it rest a bit. Looks good. Yeah. With the edges if you want. If you squeeze the edges too much, then you're not going to get, you know, like a... The puffy. Uh, the puffy, the puffy dough, you know. So try to get in the middle and just to bring it, to bring it on the side. All right. And there you go. There so you we'll go. let it rest. We'll let it rest. Yeah, and we'll come back with the toppings. Yeah. So we'll just spread the tomato. You know, try not to like, you know spread uh, like really on the edge. So basically in the middle. If you want to just make it red on the side. So you want it cold at all, like I said, depends on your oven. So if the oven is very good, you know. And I think what you need to do is just experiment with your ovens and with your pizza dough and uh, the time that the pizza spends in, in the, the oven. oven. Yeah. Right? So, you know, sometimes they say a really, really hot oven. Uh, that could be 500, could be 450. You have to really test. Yeah, test with the test. oven that much you get, yeah. yeah. Temperatures, etc., etc. So I'm gonna put it 
and we'll put a little bit of olive oil. I'll put the basil at the end because this oven it takes more time, it takes about 20 minutes. But uh, you know, if you want a pizza oven, it takes you maybe like three minutes or five minutes. A real so, pizzeria, a real pizza oven, right? pizzeria oven. So we'll put this in first and then we'll put the basil. And here we are with the pizza margherita fresh out of the oven. And that looks amazing, Carlo. Uh, we, um, don't forget, we put mozzarella di buffalo, but the bocconcini, uh, a lot of people use bocconcini. Uh, just came out of the oven, we put a lot of, uh, uh, how do you say it, um, the mozzarella. So we finish it off with fresh basil. Yeah. All right, just do it with your hand, not with your knife, because then it comes black, the basil comes black. So it's always better when you know with your hand. So this is just pizza sauce, cheese. Yeah. A and bit more of, cheese. More cheese. And the smell. And the smell, and a little yeah. bit of olive oil. It's wonderful. The smell is really wonderful. So this is your pizza. Very simple. You hear that crunch? And I see the cheese is just yeah. melting away. Well, mozzarella di buffalo is a cheese that's very, you know, it melts right away. So it's not like in you know, a real mozzarella. That's like mozzarella is. is more, it's a more thick uh, product. Carlo, I noticed that when you cut your pizza, you, you cut it first in half? Yes, I cut it in half because I go I go all the way through and when you go to the end, you just twist to make sure. Then if you want, you can cut it in half and then you cut it in half, so we, which gives you the you know all the, the same size. And just make sure that when you cut it, you go to the end and you flip. So you're, you're making you a little twist. Yeah, and you twist it. And you cut from the middle to the end. You don't start from the end no, of the pizza. No, I cut from the, yeah. Once I cut the middle, I cut from the, the middle again, half, to the end. half, half, and that's so that way you're not going through all of. Well, the you're end. not coming back where it's thick. You're not gonna come back all the cheese. Cake. It's gonna come back in the middle. So right. That's, so that's it. That's very good. So there you go, guys. A pizza margherita, margherita with uh, buff, uh, buffalo uh, mozzarella. mozzarella. Yeah. Buffalo. Very good. So thanks for being there.